Warning, only watch if you like being positive, you are chilled, relaxed, and you have a positive, happy nature. There is enough sadness in the world already. This is a happy place. My videos are to provide unbiased opinions on games or products. I show the honest reactions to a game and not re-record or edit my best moments to look like a pro. If I suck, I suck. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys and welcome back to me, Yanu. And me, little diddle. For some more Yanu Diddly Squats Happy Gaming. If you're happy and you know it, watch him play. If you're happy and you know it, see which game. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, say his name. Hi guys and welcome back for some more Yanu Diddly Squatch Happy Gaming and I do apologise that Yanu is not with me today um, but if you watch the previous two episodes I absolutely do not want to be around him at the moment I'm really really scared if you want to see why I'm scared because he doesn't even know what it is because he can't see it and I'm trying to find a way to let, make him see it but anyway guys, let's get straight on with this video. Right, PSVR. Now, what are the three things, since Yanu has bought me the little, this is a little version for me, um, because Yanu bought me all the little equipment, and I've got a steering wheel and everything, but what are the three things that I like the most about my PSVR that isn't needed for VR? And basically that means any normal game. So if you're playing a game, for instance, Titanfall 2, as an example I'll give you. Right, I've played Titanfall 2. Now the first thing that I like about this is the fact that when you've got... I've got a projector and a TV. Now when you're watching on your projector or your TV, depending on where you sit and everything... You know, you've got to have, you've got to be in a certain position to watch it. So if you're laying in bed, you've got to get your, your head up to look and you could have a crooked neck and you're watching a TV. Um, if you're sat in front of the projector, obviously you've got to be to the side and the projector's hitting your head. Otherwise it, it hits your head and you've got a, um, a shadow around the screen. So you've got to sit to the side. And that doesn't help when I'm playing my racing wheel, which I like right in front of the TV. And obviously... I prefer the projector, but if I'm sat right in front of it, then I've got the wheel and it, and it hits me in the head. But if I move to the side to play it, it don't quite feel so right because obviously you're off. It's a bit like driving in a normal car and you're sitting to the, so the wrong side or slightly off of view and, and you're kind of looking in a different view. With the VR, it's got its own sort of cinema uh, mode where you can actually watch play any normal game without VR and the great thing about it is wherever you sit you can reposition so if you're laying in bed and you look up in the sky like up at the ceiling obviously your TV and your projector aren't up there but suddenly you've got this massive image even bigger than my projection projection and and my projector is massive and this one is, is like huge but I can look up reposition it and I can see it there, wherever I sit, whichever angle, I can see that game in normal view. Now, a lot of people go, oh, it's not as good quality. But the truth is, it's very good unless you go for small. Because you've got small, medium and large. If you go for small, the screen will stay with you everywhere. But it is horrible. It is really, really horrible. I wouldn't recommend it. It's really pixelated. It's horrible. Go for medium or large and then both, I'd say medium is a better um, because large it's a bit too much looking but medium is just the right size and, and it is actually good quality, it's very good quality. It might not be the best, you know, you're going to obviously get 4K and all that but the truth is you're going to get great quality with it that's the first thing so you can look anywhere you want and you've got it's like a moving television that you don't have to put on a stand or nothing it's just floating so it's a move, moving one the second thing the light still on the picture is lag 
right because it's directly on this now you could have a really really good 4k tv with better quality right but you could move when you move say titanfall for instance i've got it on a projector and when you move it as soon as you move the slick you've got this very very slight delay which kind of annoyed me every time i'd turn it'd be like turn 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 it was really frustrating me and it, it isn't nice to play a game when you're playing a fast-paced first-person shooter and and it's not quite as quickly sort of picking up with this i've played it on here titanfall 2 and it's when you turn it's crisp it's really fast the lag so that's the second reason the third reason is the headphones now it has its own 3d sound right i've got uh, I've, I've had like uh, Atmos, um, Dolby Atmos, uh, normal Dolby surround. Um, this is proper speakers. I've got the DSS2, I've tried. Um, this is the um, HyperX Cloud 2, I believe, headphones. And it's got its own sort of digital processor for the PC. And I've tried different stereo ideas on the headphones. And I've also tried... Um, like I say, a proper surround setup. Now, obviously, a proper surround setup, Atmos, that is really, you know, really spacious because of them speakers. But if you're wanting to keep it compact, obviously, if you're sat on a bed, like I say, you're looking at the ceiling like this, right? It's no good because you're looking up there. So if you've got a surround sound speaker set up around you, well, the front speakers are over there, but your head's looking up there. So you're thinking the front is up there, but really the front is over there so what's happening is it's off because everything that should be down there because you're looking up is now becoming behind up above your head so it's kind of off with this that's why the headphones come in handy and because of the 3d sound even when you don't have a vr um game on if you're just playing titanfall 2 the sound's amazing you know it gives you that nice spatial effect so wherever you're looking if you're looking up you get that effect that, you know, as soon as you sort of cor correct it up there, it knows where your position or your head is. So when you turn, you know, obviously when you turn in the game, because you're not turning your head, it's not a VR game, then it, it's giving you that effect. Everything is in the right place. So you're looking up, you can hear it in the right directions, even when you're looking up in the air. So it doesn't matter where you're sitting in that. And obviously, getting back to the wheel, um... Again, if you're on a projector, like I say, and you're sat in front of the TV or the projector and you've got the projector on your head, then obviously what you're going to get is this, um, this silhouette sort of shadow. But with this, you can sit anywhere you want with your wheel and you can just pop it on your head and wherever your wheel is facing, you're sat right in the middle of the, of the screen for a racing car game or, or whatever it is, instead of sitting to the side of a projector, and it's quite off. So anyway, guys, I tried to make that as quick as possible to explain the three reasons. Don't forget, one, the uh, is, is obviously the position. You can look anywhere you want. Two is the lag, and three is your headphones to give you like a 3D, nice stereo sound. And I love all of those three reasons about it. So the great thing is, it's like a portable TV. I mean, you pay a lot of money money for a TV as it is, or or an expense projector. And if you've got a PS4 and you've got one of these, you know, for the price, and you've got your headphones and everything, it's giving you a nice 3D sound. It's giving you a projector size bigger than a projector size image, and the bonus of it is obviously if you bought a, a projector or a TV, which costs you maybe hundreds to thousands of pounds, you would then end up with just that. That's all you can do is play a normal game on it, right? With this, you get the advantage of the fact of all of those benefits I said, plus the fact that it's a free, it, it's a, a VR headset. So you aren't just stuck to your TV and saying, oh, I can play my TV. Oh, but I wish I had a VR. I wish I had a VR ga game to play. With this, you can watch your telly and you can play the VR as a bonus. So, yeah, guys, I mean, it's up to you. You you can perfectly buy a projector and everything, but I'm just giving you my three reasons of why I feel that the VR headset is fantastic for games that are not VR too. So anyway, guys, I'll see you again in another video. And uh, 
just remember, if you're a happy gamer and you know it, and you want to see me again, click the subscribe button and remember his name. Yanu, that's who. See you later, guys. The next time you're feeling bored, just come back and watch him play some more. So get off your butt and come back to see this old nut. Stop being so lame and remember his name.